uh hello youtube this is bailey mage again and i'm gonna give you guys an update on the build i'm playing i do want to stress that i'm still kind of working out the kinks i've intentionally avoided looking at what everyone else is doing for spark so if there are some super obvious things because other people are doing them i haven't looked at them yet but i am going to start looking at other builds tomorrow just to see if i missed anything but for now we decided we wanted to play a spark character well more importantly we decided we wanted to play a near immortal character and so the only thing that i had in mind when i built this inquisitor is that i would not ever die and that's the only idea that i had was just defenses and how i was going to do them and by the time I'd finished leveling, I was leveling with Spark and I remembered how much I loved Spark. So we decided we were just going to stay Spark and I was just going to figure it out. And then since then, in two days of mapping, we accidentally hit level 97 because this build is nearly impossible to kill. Uh, however, we do have some small problems. The damage is a little lower than I would like in perfect ideal situations. Uh, we're doing about 3.8 mil single target without any headhunter buffs. Um, this build works perfectly fine without a headhunter. It is the biggest problem if you don't have a headhunter running this build is that I am very heavily relying on the decks from that belt and you will need a lot of decks to make up for not having that 65 decks, which I'm already short on decks. But if you can fix the decks hole... Headhunter is not needed. Headhunter does not give it any tankiness. It does up the clear speed, obviously, but we're not relying on it at all. So 3.8 mil in absolute perfect situations for single target. And then the clear looks like this. Now, I want to stress that I didn't plan this build. Uh, I didn't min-max anything about it. I've been playing, you could say like a pleb. I've just been running maps and just putting points where I think they should go and this is how it's ended now I'm I'm making a point of making it here because this is where I've come to with no research no looking other places no relying on anyone else to help build it and this is where it's got which is quite nice I'm quite enjoying it there's a small temptation of me grinding to 100 on it because it's just so much fun it is just so much fun to play spark the only reason that i can give you why you should copy this build is because spark is so fun to play i don't think it's objectively the best build in the world it's got really good clear but not the best clear it's got really 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 good tank but not the best tank so realistically it's just super super fun all I have to say about this build has been super, super, super fun. Boom. Now, what I was talking about earlier is perfect ideal scenarios. We do have this 3.8 million DPS, but this is sort of a little bit path of building warrioring. And the reason for that is because if we were on a pinnacle boss, we would not be able to generate frenzy charges and we would not have innovate active. And as soon as, and we would also not have onslaught. And as soon as we drop those three things we are down to 2.7 mil dps which is what our dps would be on actual pinnacle bosses we can maintain tailwind we can maintain elusive we will be on consecrated ground all of these things will happen every all, all the other buttons are ticked fine the shock is set to 20 because on proper bosses i actually get about 24 to 26 ish um so I'm putting it on 20 just to be a little bit conservative, just a tiny bit under, but that's fine. Um, we don't get any unnerve. We don't get anything like that. Um, I haven't actually set it to boss here because it, it just doesn't, it doesn't matter because we're an inquisitor. They don't have any resistances. Nothing really changes. So for inquisitors, you don't actually have to worry about that. So this effective hit pool is insane that is 12 million effective hit pool that is a 12 million effective hit pool with a maximum single hit to take it of 65k we do have 89 to all max res we have block cap 
we have spell block cap we have the aegis aurora healing us uh whenever we block it is healing our energy shield we have only just positive chaos res and that is with an Xeris flask but positive chaos res is enough to not die to any of the chaos degens while mapping so that's been super super nice as well we are using one call of the brotherhood to transfer some of our damage to cold so that we also shatter and freeze everything every map boss is frozen pinnacle bosses will not get frozen but map bosses freeze um, we happen to get one with some determination aura effect that was really nice just to give us a little bit of extra armor because i couldn't afford to wear an armor flask for right now i've been stuck with an enduring mana flask which i would love to get rid of but frankly spark costs too much mana we've gone crown of the inward eye because honestly it's just really good it's a really good low budget entry cost thing especially for hybrid es slash armor inquisitor style people um spark fires three additional projectiles because we like projectiles we just have a a random pretty decent chest but not fantastic 10% of life as energy shield is really important and just a, a chunky life roll on resistances. We do have plus one max cold here. This could be plus two or plus three. That was one possible way to get us to 90 all res. Uh, we have some pretty decent gloves. They also have plus one cold res. Again, that could be plus two. That would be another way to get us to 90, which once we hit 90, we could change into a nebulous and it would be better than our current weapon. But until then it's not really worth the change uh, so we're using an ashes of star the 20 percent rmr is what i wanted the most um, i would love to have a 30 percent quality one instead of a 26 percent quality one but you get what you get uh, one random ring with minus mana cost and obviously we are wearing a headhunter because i spent a long time farming the headhunter and i want to but we don't need it. The build doesn't rely on it. However, that 66 dex is coming in clutch right now. Um, you can see we are using the melding jewel, which is why we have all of our 89 all res. Because we've gone purity of ice, a few plus colds, and the Aegis Aurora to get us all of our max res. It did make getting res on the character a little bit difficult because I didn't have a belt slot. If you're not wearing a headhunter and you can get a bunch of decks on your belt, you also have two more suffixes for more resistances, which will go a lot easier. Trust me, we do need them. Uh, other than that, we got a 2% RMR spark jewel. Honestly, didn't didn't need didn't need the RMR for anything. I can't fit on another aura yet anyway. But I'm hoping to be able to as I develop this character a little bit more. We did go dual clusters. Um, this cluster down here, super cheap. Prismatic Heart Snowstorm. Snowstorm is the important node. This cluster up here, far more expensive because it came with Doriani's lesson, which I thought I would need and I ended up not needing at all. So if you're going to copy some, one of these, just buy two of these ones instead of this one because it was far more expensive for a node I'm not using. Um, I use Snowstorm and Saddest on this one. Saddest is quite nice though. That is a there's a fairly decent amount of uh, increased damage. We do have a tiny bit of flat fire, so we ignite and then we shock and chill because most of our damage is like that. Our mediums are super important though. Cast speed is the best way to scale spark. So projectile damage and cast speed on this one, but this one, projectiles PS1 target. 10% projectile speed. Projectile speed is king in this build for clear and even for single target if you're in a small room and pierce is almost mandatory for clear. For now, I have exactly four of the exact same ones, which means I only have four pierce. In an ideal world, I'd get another two either on a rare helmet or or on the gloves, that, but I, I just don't have that right now. So for now, I've only got four pierce, which is... It's been enough. I, I could use another two. Auras are all pretty simple. Zealotry, Determination, Purity, Tempest Shield, Defiance Banner. That's it. That's all of ours. 
we do have a nice orb of storms set up to give us innovate and frenzy charges and power charges we drop that occasionally it really doesn't have to be dropped very often and it does a surprisingly high amount of damage i do know that in path of building it says i only do 76k i don't know how orb of storms works in path of building and i can't figure out how to make it work but i can tell you that it procs every single time i cast spark and it definitely does more damage than that i don't know how to calculate that if anyone knows how to calculate that or to make path of building calculate that please let me know but here it is this is what i've been playing uh starting tomorrow i am going to look at how a few other spark builds have made their stuff work see if i can improve it my dream scenario would be that this setting the one where without innovate and without frenzy charges that only has 2.7 i would like that to be around 5 million so almost double i almost want to double my actual single target damage because if i can get to 5 million and be this tanky this build could just do everything in the game all all the pinnacle bosses are, are very comfortable on 5 million cortex feared invitations every everything will be super comfortable if i can get it to 5 million as it stands right now 2.7 mm, feels really 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 good in maps not really great in bosses so yeah that's that that's the build this is very very fun again super easy to hit level 97 when you just can't die um that makes it that makes it a lot easier i've been really enjoying this if anyone has any big brain suggestions i will have a look at any suggestions in the comments because i'm enjoying spark so much i kind of want to min max it a bit more so now we start research and improvement see if i can double my dps I that is all path of building will be in the description and i will see everybody later